It's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon, people. I just got my arse out of bed. Gonna make one of those Krispy Kreme coffees. Gonna slam it in my face. Gonna let the dog out. Welcome to my vlog. Oh, uh, situation normal outside, guys. No new snow, no new snow at all. Very, very, very appreciate that. Oh man, I don't know what it is. But every morning when I take a piss, like that first piss of the day, holy crap does it stink like diesel fuel. It's probably due to my diet, the fact that I eat no carbs, and the fact that my body's burning fat for energy instead of burning, you know, carbs. That's what I'm thinking. I'm probably just pissing straight ketones. But man, oh man, all I gotta say is, the best part of waking up is a good piss out your front. Krispy Kreme, Dino Canadian Tire. How do you open this box? There it is. <laughs> Krispy Kreme, it's so crispy and creamy. Coffee is dreamy. Gonna drive it in my face. I don't envy the people at work today. I really don't envy the people at work today. Holy, I bet you today was just off the charts ridiculous. We got a new uh, platform launching for all of, the, uh, all of the phones for an easier setup. But I know it's gonna get broken. Stuff's gonna happen, problems are gonna ensue. And I'm glad I'm not there for launch day. This is the first time in a long time that a brand new product was launching and I wasn't on staff. I really appreciate this. And I come in on the weekend, or on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the rest of my shift, for nights, and I'm not gonna have any problems there either. So I also really appreciate this. A coffee maker sounds like it's farting out of coffee. My coffee maker sounds like it's farting out of coffee. It totally sounds like it's farting out of coffee. Just farting out some coffee. Ca coffee! You would swear I already had coffee this morning guys i literally just got up i'm just in a really freaking good mood a really freaking good mood you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying do you know what i'm saying all right coffee is built not bought well that's a lie because i bought the milk and i bought the stevia and i bought the coffee forget what i said just a glorious day in paradise, people. All right, well, I just slammed that. Man, that Krispy Kreme coffee is freaking amazing, guys. That's quite possibly the best coffee I've bought in, in Keurig's yet. Donut House was good. Tim Hortons was good. This Krispy Kreme, she's really good. I think I might try another one. I think I might bulletproof this next one. That sounds like a battle plan. Get a little bit of that fat in my gut. Tonight for dinner, we're having steak. I honestly have no idea what to do with myself today, people. Days off are always, and it's winter, so it's like, I don't want to go outside because, like, it's wintering out. And I just want to, like, hang out in the house all day and do a whole lot of nothing. Maybe get on the Bowflex again, beat the crap out of the body. I don't know. We'll see. Bulletproof coffee! Man, that's going to be good. Got some cinnamon in there. We got some other stuff in there. Some stuff and junk in there. Some MCT oils in there. Gonna get put the dog's food in here. And the cat's food in there. All right, I'm gonna go drive this in my face and then we'll see if we're gonna do anything today. I don't have to shovel the driveway. It's still shoveled. I have no idea if we're expecting snow. Maybe Doug on those. Let's ask her. Is it gonna snow today? No, it's not forecast to snow in North Bay today. It'll be mostly cloudy, with a forecasted high of minus 4 and a low of minus 14. Sweet Jesus, minus 14 guys. That's gonna suck. Look what I just found inside of my dresser in a drawer that I never go into because it's full of clothes that I used to wear that I can't wear because I got fat. Pretty funny shirt too, so I wonder if it fits me. Well, it's a little bit tight, but it definitely fits. Like, it's just pretty constricting. Like. I feel it everywhere. <laughs> but like, really? That fits pretty damn good. I do say so myself. I don't know how to and it's like it's not my my gut's not showing, it's covering my belly. But if I make any moves, I'm totally gonna let my belly button come out. But like it fits. It's a little vapey in here, I know, but that's because I vape. It it fits, it's good. I don't know. Maybe I'm a large now. I was thinking about going to Walmart tonight and buying some new shirts because those three XLs, I put them on and it's like I'm wearing a frickin' tent. Like, that's not too bad. I do say so myself. I don't know. 
Am I large now? <laughs> I, I really don't know. Problem is, is you buy shirts nowadays, right? And they start off form fitting and they, they, they work. You can actually wear them. But then you put them in the washer and dryer and then they no longer fit because once they hit the dryer, they shrink. So maybe an extra large. Like this is pretty tight on the arms right now and it's pretty tight on the chest and not too bad on the gut area, but like it feels good. I don't know. I really don't know. I just know that if I, if I like start dating and I wear those like 3XL shirts, uh, I'm gonna look like a homeless guy. Mm. It's not a good first impression to make when you're meeting the ladies. Just saying. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna go downstairs and fire a steak in the air fryer. Mainly because I'm freaking hungry and I want some meat. So hungry, I could eat a cow. Oh wait, that's what I'm gonna do. Cow, 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 cow for dinner. Just barely fits in the air fryer too. Love it. Give her a nice solid 15 minutes of blast beats with the heats, and then it's time for the eats. Yeah, man. Krispy Kreme coffee. Definitely gonna buy that again. And it was actually pretty cheap. It's only like 13 bucks for 30. It's funny because I keep forgetting that just around the corner from my house is a Keurig shop that sells cheaper coffee, and you can like pick and match your coffee. So you can buy like different flavors and have them on hand, and they got a huge selection. And I just never go there. Probably should. Alrighty, people, that friggin' steak has got to be done now. So let's go plate it, slate it, and then eat it. That didn't rhyme. I apologize. But, oh yeah, she's done. She's been done for a while. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hard to see, but 260 grams of steak. I don't know why it's jumping around. 259 now. Probably because the steam's coming off of it. Alrighty then. I need to grab my mixer. My shaker. My Iron Man shaker. She's the only Marvel superhero that I actually like. Shame what happened with Stan Lee, eh? Like, he lived a long, fulfilling life, passed away at the age of 95. But, like, kind of sucks that we're not going to have any more Stan Lee cameos. He was funny in the Avengers, or... Was it Avengers? Yeah, I think it was the Avengers, with the one with uh, Thanos. I think it wasn't an Avenger movie. I keep getting them mixed up because... The one that, um, like when they had the uh, Captain America versus Iron Man, it was a Captain America movie. And then they had the one, I don't know, it's really weird, but his cameo in that was hilarious because like he's all like, what, you never seen it? You act like you've never seen a spaceship before. And I just laughed because of uh, the first Avengers when those, when Thanos' aliens attacked New York. I don't think there was a spaceship in the Age of Ultron, eh? No, I'm pretty sure there wasn't. I'm pretty sure in that one there it was, uh, Ultron was just Ultron. Sucks that he passed away because, man, that guy was a damn legend. But, man, 95 years old. That's pretty freaking good, right? Gotta give the guy creds. Stuck it out for a long damn time. Still haven't researched what took him. I'd like to believe old age because, well, once again, 95 years old, right? Anyway, right now I'm making a pre-workout shake because uh, I plan on attacking the equipment tonight. I'm getting myself right jacked. Because let me tell you, last night felt good doing it. Tonight it's going to feel just as good. Going to get swole. But no, it's definitely a damn shame. I wasn't expecting that in the news yesterday. I was going to talk about it yesterday, but I don't know. It just felt like people don't know that it happened. Because like... It's freaking Stan Lee. Not like it's some never heard of before person. Uh. Threw an ice cube in with it, try and get it a little cooler. I like my beverage is cold. You know, they say the best way to drink water is at room temperature because your body can use it right away. I could just never drink room temperature water. I always found it to be bland and just not tasty. Even like soda and that. People, my buddy used to go to the store, buy a two liter of soda off the shelf and just open it and drink it. And it's like, dude, put some ice in that or something. like. Doesn't it taste gross? No, man, it tastes great. I love it like this. Or my buddy would uh, would go out and buy a case of beer and just stick it in the corner of a room. Not in the fridge. In the corner of a room, crack the case and just start drinking at room temperature. And I'm like, how can you do that? Doesn't that taste like garbage? Oh man, it's the only way to drink beer. He was finished though. So, and one thing I learned from uh, my summer car is uh, they drink their beer no matter what temperature it is. I like it ice cold. Well, I used to like it ice cold. Now I like it not inside of me for the time being. Anyway, I'm gonna slam this pre-workout shake. Iron Man style. Yeah, Iron Man style. Drop this in my face. Then we're gonna go smash some plates and lift some weights. What's well, new? 
Got like a vein shooting out of my arm. Never noticed that before. Probably because all my short sleeve shirts are kind of longer sleeves and they don't reveal this much of my body. Well, my arms anyway. I just realized that I'm like, what the hell? Am I okay? Thinking about putting in a workout tonight. Blasting myself again. Tonight I'm probably gonna work the chest area. Really, really let that rip. Really just give her, hammer down. I was thinking afterwards, depending on the time, I might take a rip over to Walmart and look at getting some more shirts because uh, this feels kind of good. I do have to say, wearing a large that actually somewhat fits feels actually pretty good. And like, I can't wear this one to work for obvious reasons, right? So, pretty sure that would uh, kind of trigger some people. Might make them think. Maybe a rip to Walmart might be in order. Not tonight, definitely tomorrow night. But before I go downstairs and actually rip a workout, I'm gonna watch Boogie's video because apparently a lot of people are mad at him for some reason. Probably because they're stupid. So I'm gonna see what the hell is going on with this guy. Then I'm gonna go downstairs, put on some EDM, cause that's like the best stuff to work out to. Unless you're into rage music, then, you know, fire up some bullet for my Valentine. I'm gonna wash this guy, and then go blast my body into oblivion so it can regenerate and be the tank I want it to be. Let's do this! Okay, so I've been done my workout for a while. It's actually after midnight now. I decided against going to Walmart tonight. Might go tomorrow, I don't know. But I did order myself a shirt. Just don't know when it's gonna be here. Hopefully before Christmas because it's a Christmas shirt and it's one of those naughty Christmas shirts, if you will. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to wear it to work. Where the heck did I put the pot for the friggin' air fryer? I put it in the sink to clear it out because it was filled with, with grease. Normally what I do is I dump the grease down the toilet, right? Because I figure if the toilet can handle my poops, it can handle all the oil from the, uh, from the grease. Uh, I better put this camera down. Last time I tried to tie up the dog without it, he yelled. Google lied. Look at my truck. It's got snow on it. Google lied. But anyway, I'm gonna make myself a coffee because I'm getting sleepy and it's only midnight. I don't wanna go to bed yet. Cause if I do go to bed, I'm not gonna get used to getting up late for my late shifts. So I need to stay up till at least around five in the morning. I don't know if he's peeing or just standing there like an idiot. Dude, you know, every time you come back in from out there, you bring in so much snow with you. It's like he comes flying in, he goes over top. I'm not wearing socks right now. He goes flying in, jumps over my feet, and just coats me in snow. And where the hell is my air fryer pan? Like, it's empty right now. There's nothing in there. Look, I can put my hand in it because there's nothing in there. Where did I put that? Oh, did I leave it in the bathroom after I dumped it? I bet you I did. Yeah. Okay, well, I gotta put this back in the sink and hit it again, cause there's a lot of, of goo in it. Reminds me of the Leviathans from Supernatural. You ever see that show? It's pretty sweet. See what I mean? A lot of goo in it. Nothing a little bit of Dawn won't fix it. This stuff here, they use it on duckies. They get coated in oil from, you know, stuff. So if it can clean off a duck, should be able to clean off that guck. I just realized all the paint is coming off of this thing. I thought this was like some sort of a black metal. I didn't realize they painted it. Thank God the meat doesn't actually sit on that. It sits in a, a basket, right? But yeah, that's pretty awesome. The best way to dry your air fryer, just turn it on. So after editing the vlog today, I realized I didn't do anything today. I literally did a whole lot of nothing. Spent the whole day just doing not a thing at all. And you know what? It wasn't too bad. Of course, it makes for a crappy video for YouTube, but I enjoyed myself. Just sucks for you guys at home watching because you don't get any super entertainment and this what sucks about winter is because I don't really do much, there's not really much to do. And I think Rex said on a pre, he either said it on a previous video or on a Facebook post, I can't remember, but he said, go buy a sled and come out romping with the boys. And guys, sleds are expensive. Insurance is expensive. Well, probably not, but I don't know, I never, quoted uh, insurance on a sled, but sleds are expensive. You know, I wouldn't want to buy some piece of crap for 500 bucks so I gotta, that I gotta put another thousand bucks into it. I'm not skilled enough to be doing that and I really don't want to be doing that in the cold. What are you doing? She's like sitting there being a weirdo, <laughs> which is a given. Look at that cat, right? Oh, do you want some pets? Oh, do you want some pets? Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, who's a good girl? You are, yeah, you do your boo-boos. Okay, I gotta rock piss. I'm like sitting here waiting for the air fryer to go off. And I just realized something. I'm not cooking anything in it. 
I'm just drying out the tray. What am I even freaking doing with my life right now? I'm in my coffee. Krispy Kreme! So good, so good. Oh man, I'm so buying more boxes of this. I wonder if that place over by that guy sells it. I'm telling you boys. Krispy Kreme friggin' Keurig coffee, even though my friend's like, oh, I need coffee out of a Keurig, tastes like fart. Frig your hat, tastes good. I likes it a lot. Yeah, the whole talk on sleds. You know, I got the truck, so hauling a sled around, people just load them right into the box of their truck, either using ramps or a snowbank. So that would definitely be an option. But it's like, right now I don't really have the time to ride. I would get two weekends out of the month, and that's if people are going out. I work all sorts of crazy hours. Now come the new year, and it's been confirmed uh, that they've already asked a bunch of the new guys who's going to after hours. So I'm definitely getting off my after hours, people. I'm definitely gonna go back to a normal rotation, and life is going to be awesome because i can actually start having one again which will be weird what's it like to have a life how do you even do that <laughs> you know it's been so long but i'll figure it out and i'm just gonna keep doing these videos like i do them like i say some days might be short some days might be long the video's a video just took you guys out of the freezer because for some reason this camera's acting up right now. Not sure what happened, but I just filmed the whole scene about talking about how, uh, why I didn't want to buy a sled. And I'm not sure if this camera's gonna hold its own. I have a feeling this new memory card is already broken. I have a feeling this camera chewed it up, which sucks because, uh, yeah. I just formatted the memory card to see if that would take. I also threw the camera in the freezer for a bit to let it cool down. Why not, right? Works for Lance Stewart. Maybe it can work for me. But it uh, does this weird thing where all of a sudden I get an exclamation mark on the top of the screen. Got to find out what the hell that means. And then I got to, uh, it just sits there and says busy and the green light on the back flashes. I got a battery pull it to make it work. Pissing me off. What I was talking about is the reason why I don't really want to buy a sled is because like I mentioned before, Uncle Dougie is getting rid of Bill 148 in favor for Bill 147, just, just 47. And what that is, is basically uh, open for business where he's getting rid of Bill 148 and all of the equal rights for equal, or equal pay for equal uh, work and all that stuff. And it kind of sucks, but we don't know how that's gonna affect us in the office. So we gotta wait and find out. Mainly, the reason why we don't know what's gonna do in the office is because 95% of our office is contract workers. And if they cut all of our pay back after giving us sweet pay, I know there's a lot of us that are just gonna pack it up and leave. And I don't think they can afford to have that happen right now because they kind of sort of need us. Well, we gotta run the operation. Yeah. Now, obviously up here in North Bay, there isn't much for work. It's pretty much derelict up here as far as employment goes, but, this isn't the only place where we have an office. We have one in Toronto, we have one in Kitchener-Waterloo, and we also have one down in St. Catharines. And those three areas, unlike North Bay, have a lot of opportunity in the tax sector, which means a lot of people could just say, frig it, go get another job and leave our operation high and dry. And I don't think they want that to happen because they're gonna have a hell of a time filling those shoes if it does. So the census is, is that we're going to keep our rate of pay and anybody new hire will be going on an older pay scale. Problem is, that hasn't been confirmed. Now, there are a couple people at the office that are obviously not good at their job. Management is aware. They know who the star players are, who the power hitters are, the ones who can flex. And those are the ones that they usually give special projects to and other things like that. Right now, if you're wondering why there's so many awesome jump cuts, it's because I'm literally stopping the camera every minute so that if it does cock over the program, I won't lose too much of my data because filming for seven minutes straight and just having it break down really sucks. But I think I fixed it by formatting that memory card. I don't understand how that happened. And the camera is getting a little warm, so not sure what's happening there either, to be honest. Oh boy tell you man why can't i have equipment that lasts why does everything got to cost so much money and break down within months I'm not even rough with this thing like <laughs> this makes no freaking sense but uh yeah because we're not sure what's gonna happen with uncle dougie and bill 148 and the state of our paychecks my objective now is to spend as little as possible on whatever i can as possible and try and run in survival mode to bank as much as possible so i have a surplus as possible to survive that if they do cock over the program and drop our rate our wages i can basically 
afford to survive for a bit while I look for new employment that'll actually pay what they should pay versus what they want to pay because like working for a temp agency is probably borderlining slave labor and um, it's pretty bad that Uncle Dougie supports that. I'm just saying like there should be a law put in place that says if a temp agency has to hire you for two consecutive years and you're still required thereafter there should be a statement in there saying that the company should have to hire you on full time because well why would they want to hire somebody else they just spent all this time and money on training you maybe you're needed maybe you should roll into full time just putting it out there makes a lot of sense in my brain but that's just my brain right and obviously my brain ain't the best brain in the world because uh, a lot of people think i'm stupid but hey whatever it's the way she goes so because of all this happening I don't really want to jump on board with buying a sled, insurance, you know, increasing my my uh, money out versus money in. I'd rather skip this year, continue focusing on the weight loss, continue focusing on myself, building myself up. This summer, get my car going, depending on the situation with Uncle Dougie. We'll know that before the car project even begins. I got a lot of the stuff that I need to get the job done. So that's not a big issue. I'd rather focus on that because versus getting a sled and winter activities. Vlogs are going to be a little boring over the next little bit. I'll try and do my best to make them entertaining. If I have to, I'll bust out some VFX and do some stupid stuff and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, people. We've done it for seven freaking years. We can do it for another, right? Or some nonsense like that. Actually, it's been longer than that, hasn't it? Theoretically, I started filming in 2008. Uh, 2008, the ex and I did a walk around and we went and looked at a bunch of uh, Christmas lights and all that. And then in 2009, is when, no, it was in 2009 when I started. It's Christmas 2009, so. Theoretically, it's been nine years that I've started on YouTube, but I've only been doing this channel since January 2011 because I started on the Skaven channel and then uh, decided to axe that and go with this. So, yeah, fun history. But I figured I would explain that to you. And guys, also, if you're wondering, if you're thinking, well, Adam, quit hitting the camera, maybe it'll quit breaking. I actually don't come in contact with the lens. When I come in at the end and, and give her the old hand slap, I don't physically touch the lens. What I'm doing is I'm coming in and then I'm tapping the mic on the top to give it that sound. That's all I'm doing. The reason why it goes black right away is because I cut the video as soon as I hit the mic. So all you see is darkness. Theoretically, that's what we all do. Like if you ever watch Kid Behind a Camera, he's like, cover the lens, cover the lens, Bridget. Cover the lens, Doug. You know, he's not actually smashing the camera he's just rubbing the mic on the top and giving that sound of like rubbing up against the lens it's, it's kind of good you know and I, that's why i don't bounce it off my chest like i used to do with the sony because you won't get that same effect because there's no mic on the front of it the mic is on the top but anyway people as for today i'm going to shut this down get this video all edited and uploaded to youtube and uh probably going to play some video games for the next two and a half hours because uh, I want to get to bed by around five so I can wake up later tomorrow and get more in depth to waking up later so that when I go to work on my first Thursday night I'm not such a zomboid in the office because that sucks so on that note thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did click that like button any questions comments concerns oh friggin down below they go people don't forget to stick them there i do reply to comments uh i don't think i did today but uh well this is rendering i will uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that post notification bell that way there you're you won't be notified of a new video because apparently that feature keeps breaking because while well, youtube can't seem to get anything working right but uh yeah ring the bell anyway because it's fun and until next time people keep on vlogging <coughs>